Hey guys, Pastor Kevin here. You know, I wanna, I wanna encourage you this morning. Um, the other day I was watching The Animal Planet. How many of you guys uh, enjoy watching The Animal Planet? I love watching anything with animals. And the day that I was watching, it was all about lions. And I love learning about lions. They're, they're ferocious, but they're amazing creatures. And uh, this particular time I was watching, it was about um, how they hunted. And it would show these lioness chasing down a herd of wildebeest. And, you know, a lion can't take down an entire herd. Um, but it was crazy. The lioness were chasing, which a lioness is a female lion, uh, chasing the herds. And they had, they had uh, lions kind of just placed strategically along the way. And as they're chasing this herd, a lion would jump out and, and get them to move the direction that they wanted them to go. And they were really pushing the herd in, in a direction that they wanted them to go. Because what laid hiding a few hundred yards um, off to the side were the male lions. Now the male lions were just, just hunkered down waiting for the herd to come because they're powerful and they have a much better uh, chance getting one of the wildebeests out from the herd. And so the male lion jumps out and jumps on a wildebeest, but the one, the wildebeest behind the wildebeest that it was on rammed into him and then the next one rammed into him and then they're stepping on this line. The line gets out of there because there's no way he can take down this entire herd. The herd turns right, but then you see off to the left, one of the wildebeest makes a left hand turn. The herd turns right and one was isolated and moved to the left. And one of the lions, the male lions, turned and saw this lone wildebeest all by itself. And it was almost like unbelief. It saw it and then it looked back at the herd. Then it realized it did like a double take and it looked back and it ran over there and it jumped on this poor wildebeest and had him for dinner. It was sad, but it was a glorious um, victory for the, for the lion, but it was tragic for the wildebeest. You know that the Bible says that the devil is like a lion waiting to pounce on his prey. You see, the, the devil, this is what the devil wants to do. He's here to kill, steal, and destroy your life. And if he can cause you and get you to, to isolate yourself from your herd, what's the herd? What are we talking about here? We're talking about the church, right? And I feel like the church has been under attack for a while now. And there's, there's society is placing things in strategic areas and is pushing the church in a direction that they want us to go. And what they really want us to do is they want us to isolate. You know, a couple months ago, we weren't even allowed to meet. Um, and then it was outside and then it was inside and then you, you weren't allowed to go back inside. And I've talked to a lot of friends and can I tell you that a lot of people that I know actually enjoy watching the services from home. They like just waking up and, and rolling out of bed and grabbing their phone and watching the sermon online. And that's great for a season, that's nice. Um, but that's not long term. You know why? Because you're isolated. In Hebrews 10, 25, it says, let us not give up on meeting together as some are in the habit of doing. Some of us are in the habit of not going to church. It says we need to encourage one another for the day of the Lord is coming soon. The day of the Lord is at hand. You know, it is so important for us to be a part of the church. You may not want to come back to church, but can I just tell you that we need you back here in church. I need your encouragement. Others need your encouragement. Can I, can, can I just you know, step out on a limb and say, I believe that you probably need our encouragement as well. It says in Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 12, that a person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two people standing back to back can conquer, and three are even better, for a, for a three-strand cord is not easily broken. We have power in numbers, and the church is stronger with you there. We want to see you soon. We want to encourage you. We want to be encouraged by you. So I hope this word is, is something that you needed to hear today. If you're on the fence and like, man, I want to go back, but I'm not sure, maybe we'll just give it some more time. 
hey look it says that don't don't neglect going to church as some are in the habit of doing habits are formed and we are we are building habits right now maybe you're in a habit of staying home can i encourage you to start building a new habit of coming to church all right we love you guys look forward to seeing you soon god bless you have a wonderful day